to cancel the schedule? Well, I'm just trying something else. Okay, apologies for the slight technical issues at the start of this game. Shots up by Essex Rebels. Levi Noll to Bodie Eliola for the layup, just short. Rebound Newman. Shots missed. Back outside for the Rebels. Newman. Guarded by Bodie. High screen by Price. Newman just short for three. Greg Polian. To tell you, short jump shot is good. Newman to Price. Child, who had a big game yesterday against the Dragons in the Essex Rebels win. Price attacks off the glass. 19 to 15, Rebels leading. Williams into Greg. Off one foot, nice touch. That's his patent move. Creates space and Price can't get out for the score. Two point advantage for the Rebels, 19-17. Newman to Winter. Jordan Gray. Newman, penetrate kick yet again. Price just short and right. Rebound, Levi Null, what an outlet. To Bodie Aliola who's fouled and loves that. Clap of the hands. And Levi Knoll, seven assists a game, third in the whole of the NBL, finds his teammate for the transition bucket. And Simon Wheeler, we're up and running, and you must be a happy man. Uh, and how are you enjoying the game so far? Um, now that I can uh, start watching the game, Graham, that would be great. <laughs> um, technical issues, obviously. I apologise to everyone for the loss of the first seven minutes of the first quarter, but hey, uh, we're all doing this new and trying our ways and just learning as we go. So hopefully we can give you a good solid live stream now with Graham, the experienced commentator on the other end, here to give you all the facts and figures as we go. Thank you, Simon. I'll do my best. Really excited to be calling this game. We watched we watched the Rebels play yesterday on their YouTube with Stan and Big Dog Nate doing a great job on their comms and we'll try and try and match that today. Two teams. With a lot of links, Newman and Big Lee Hodges played of the storm previously. And some Barking Abbey links with obviously Jack Bernal coming from Barking. And Lavigne on the Rebel side. So Lee Lavigne. stepped in there, Graham. What, what, what do you think we've got to match up against these high? Obviously, we've not got anyone pushing seven foot like Lee is. Um, how, yeah, how do Hodges. we deal with that? Hodges at seven foot made a big difference yesterday and we've just got to box him out. Play tough. Or score three pointers. That will help Mike Williams for three. Yeah, just try and give Lee as few good looks as possible. Just ride him out. It will be a team effort, Greg, Mateu and uh, some of the other players will be helping out. Offensive foul given. That's yeah, good play by Storm on the defensive end. And speaking to Michael Darlow, he's, he's saying they've got to, in boxing analogy, try and land that first punch. And at the moment, it's they've got four points ahead. It's a good start by Rebels. But now Storm in the ascendancy, and it's a timeout. 
So when, when we watched that game yesterday with Essex Rebels, there, there was obviously a couple of players in there. There wasn't anyone absolutely prolific for, for the Rebels. It was a real good, solid team effort with Tom coming in. I think in the first half, he was four for four from the three-point line um, and really set the scene for Rebels to get ahead of uh, uh, Bradford. And that seemed to suit them all the way through the game and they just stayed ahead enough for uh, when, when the momentum went the other way. Yeah, I think I think they did a really good job, and that, they hadn't won a game till then, and it was very impressive with Sam Newman, as we'd expect, leading in his second game of the season, leading their points, 21 points, eight rebounds and five assists. But Lee Hodges in just 16 minutes, scoring 11 points, five rebounds. So, you know, coming in and doing a job as he did for Hamill and the Leopards before that, and wherever he's played. So, Hamill have have got their stars and they've got their really good players coming off the bench as well like Jack and Nick who are in now ex Hemel Storm Juniors and you know coming through the system and great to see Nick Allen playing in the D1 team this season a pure point guard absolutely I, I mean obviously Nick is Mr Hemel all over played a, a lot of games division division four last year for the second team but steps up every time and gives that solid uh, point guard and gets the passes going to the big guys, Mike and, and Greg. Yeah, that's agreed. Williams just missing the three there. And not in this house! Big time block by Greg. Greg's such a nice guy, but when he's on the floor and playing defence and protecting the rim for Hemelstorm, not someone you want to mess with. Nick Allen, the Fusey, to Mike Williams. Loses his balance, but blocking foul called. Mike's got a bit of a bit of pain there, but I'm sure he'll play on and, and run it off and be ready to go. Yeah, he's former player of the week. Greg's got two team of the weeks, including last week. So two high-flying American stars, but that just was short for Mike. Price for three, stretching things out for Rebels. Coming in for um, for Teo now, so uh, we know what we know what Wallet brings here into the team. Real good work ethic, really up there, up for it every time. Great at offensive rebounds. Yeah, and, and played a lot of games as you've noted in your your prep. Jack Bunnell for three, got it. That's what they need from Jack. He's right up there in the well in the top side the top ten for the National Basketball League in three three point percentage. Tom yeah. taking an easy two there. Yeah, child impressive yesterday and from the, behind the arc and showing he can get to the basket as well. Jack with a little heat check there, Simon. <laughs> He's got to shoot with confidence, Jack. That's what he's in for. Yeah, I think in previous coaches that haven't really given him the time to prove his shooting. You know, it's, it's down to the coaching staff now that they give him that ability. Yeah, it's Lee Hodges. We were talking about him a short while ago, Simon. As soon as he gets the ball and starts to get elevate and get the ball up, he's going to be a handful. Lee with 11 points, five rebounds in 16 minutes yesterday. And he was one of two from the stripe, charity stripe yesterday. Let's see how he goes. A couple of seasons with Storm, obviously um, had a little break in between, then came back and then back to Rebels, which seems to be where he's happiest at. Yeah, it's close to home. I was talking to him pre-game and he had a lot of issues with work he, and he was working weekends, couldn't commit. And with lockdown and not working weekends now, he, I think for his for his own mental health and for playing, and oh. attempted big time 
alley oop, but doesn't go down and straight up the other end. Child. Rebels really stepping up on the, uh, the defense, you know, nearly going full court, trying to put pressure on Storm to hurry up their play. Yeah, they can definitely break the press. Allen to Bunnell. Jack sideline. Off the side side of the backboard and end of the first quarter, Sam Newman throws it up and it's just short. And 27 to 26, Essex Rebels just in front. We thought it was going to be a close one, especially with Rebels coming off the win yesterday. And it's turning out to be just that, Simon. Yeah, the, the, the table will tell you that it should be, uh, you know, it should be a storm win, but the, you, you can never go by that. Rebels had a great game yesterday, and Bradford, one position below storm, seemed to um, really, really get, get the go ahead um, and left too much for them to follow up with. So um, it's going to be a tough game, and they always are. Lee and, and, and big old um, Ethan Price, you know, two seven foot nearly in there. They're going to dominate. Yeah, and that's something that that Storm have got to deal with and they're going to have to do it as a team. They've got Greg, he's a great presence, but they've, going to, they've got players with other size. They're maybe going to have to front Lee, push him away from the basket, certainly not let him get the ball and turn and, and get the ball up to be a real issue. Just an update on the technical side. Uh, really sorry about this, but it appears that the um, Basketball England stats is not going to be live throughout the whole game. There's obviously a technical issue there. Um, and not the same one we had, but unfortunately, we're, we're going to have to go by our scoreboard only. So we'll try and keep on top of it. We might not be able to keep a, an eye on all the basket scored by individual players, but we'll give you what we can. OK. You, you, you referenced Mike and Greg, obviously two Americans, both out of Brooklyn, both played... Um, a, a good um, level of uh, college basketball, Mike, for pace uh, in the NCAA one division, and you know, captain inside the same as Greg, who uh, played uh, Division two. Sorry, I've got that wrong. Mike, obviously at Rutgers. Other way, that's uh, right. other way wrong, and Greg at pace. <laughs> pace, Sorry. pace was in second division, yeah, with Greg, and he plays like a captain. You know, he's so, he's such a solid teammate. You know, I've I've seen him away from the court coaching in the community uh, at Red Bull. You know, with Hemel Stall and the Russell Hoops connection and he's so good with the kids and he takes that out onto the floor and he's just such a leader. Holian for three just off as we get underway in the in the second quarter. All the way across, good cross court pass but just out for Rory Winter, another one of the Essex Rebels young stars. Nice bounce pass by Levi Knoll, and that's why he is third in the league. Seven assists a game, that's just so simple. Child Newman, Price fumbles it, and that's a backcourt. Be interesting to see if the game stays close and physical. If the Rebels do start to get a bit of leggy, maybe a bit of fatigue. Sam Newman got played 32 minutes yesterday. You know, we'll just have to see as they get into the second half and if it becomes a bit of a grind for them. I mean, it's very common for back-to-back -back, uh, basketball games, but obviously Storm had their uh, game postponed due to COVID yesterday, so they've had the rest. So hopefully that's going to prove useful in the in the stretch. Yeah, and Storm have got to make the most of that. They've, they've had the rest, as you say. They've got to get right on the case of the Rebels. Keep pushing, pushing the whole time. And talking to Ross Norfolk before the game, he was really pleased the way they played, executed their game plan and hit some shots. Hit a good percentage of shots, so they'll be hoping to carry that on today. Foul called against Nick. Uh, up against Lee. Slight advantage there uh, for Rebels. <laughs> Come on, Nick. Uh, come on, Nick. <laughs> 28, 27 to the storm. 8.43. Remaining in the second. 
Price is very skilled, big man. Off the glass and right on cue. Jump stop and the pivot and soft touch off the glass. And here go to the line for the extra point. Foul on Haviz Abdul, one of the new players. Just been bought in by John Bunnell and the team. John in charge of the re recruitment and player experience and whatever else he title he wants to give himself. But he's doing a great job bringing these guys in and being able to retain Mike and Greg along with, along with the bulk of the team from last year has been massive. Shots up from the corner oh, is good wow. for three from Abdul. First shot and he gets it to go. Storm with the uh, Rebels with a quick break there. Um, gets it down to Price really quickly for the easy layup. And hey, another right score. Havis Abdul. Looking really sharp. Formerly played with the Essex and Hearts Leopards. Leopards, he put up some impressive scoring with them before. 27 points a game and he's come straight in the game today. And makes his first two shots and now he's at the line. And he steps over the line there. It didn't go in but it didn't matter. Storm by 2, 3, 31. Newman to Child. Price inside to Big Lee Hodges, guarded by Greg. And the shot's up. Price with the bucket. He is a handful inside the key and outside. We've got a really good one here at the Hearts University Sports Village in Hatfield. It's, it's Hertfordshire versus Essex. The two Premier teams going head to head and it's one point lead for the Vistas at the moment, 34-33. Bode stepping back in for Nick. Yeah, it's a good minutes for Nick and as you say, Simon, it's good that he is getting time to get on the floor and make a make an impression. Absolutely solid, you know, does does what the coach wants to and, and tries to to make sure the plays carry out the way the coaches want them to as well. And talking about plays being carried out, Ethan Price, unstoppable at the moment. Hemel might have to make some adjustments there. Six foot nine, not going inside, but just stepping outside for the three-pointer. Bode goes for the dribble and nice layup. For the two. Newman. Winter. Price. Now they go inside to Hodges. Who gets it to go. Nice high low pass. Entry pass into Hodges there. Bodhi to Abdul. Hand off, but it's interrupted and deflected away by Newman. And he's looking very quizzically at the ref. I guess that's what happens when you bring a player in uh, the day before. They've got to learn the, the, the rotations and where they should be in each play. Oh, there's Only ever just short. driving to the basket. Newman to Winter. Looking inside to Hodges, no good. And the back cut was attempted by Child, but the, the angle wasn't quite, quite there. So good defense from Hemel Storm. Levi Knoll to Teo Fusi. Jack Bunnell. Nafiz Abdul. Long range shot on route, just off. And Winter with the rebound. Newman attacks the closeout. Good job by Teo. Foul on the floor. So the momentum seems to be with Rebels right now, Graham, and, and you know, they've, they've taken a four-point lead with it, obviously 
don't want to see that getting too far as otherwise we'll see what happened yesterday where they managed to keep it going you know with a big lead what do you think Storm need to do to stop well, they've it? got to, they've got to deal with Ethan Price with Price and Hodges on together Price is happy there you go shooting again. that shot and he is not even thinking playing totally off instinct and he drains another deep shot and Hemel are going to have to make adjustments but it's tough when Lee and Ethan are both on the floor at the same time. You can see why Ethan Price has been uh, recruited by East in Washington uh, D1 team to go to America as soon as Covid allows him to do so. And another threes up for Abdul. He has come in and created a big spark for Storm and they need it. Winter, child, just long. Winter with the long offensive rebound off the bounce. Newman, left hand finish. It's fouled before the shot. You were saying about Ethan Price, he's got an offer going to college. Yeah, so he's, he's already got, he's already recruited and committed to uh, Eastern Washington. Um, I don't think it's for, another, for until next year because obviously COVID stopped him getting out this year. Well, it just shows the standard of this league and how deep it's becoming with British players. Shots up just off from Winter. That's, that's Rory Winter, his brother Ben is also on the roster here at Rebels. Levi Null hands it off Bodie. Poland from long range is off. Storm just not quite finding the, their range yet. Um, I'm sure it'll come. We just need that kind of one player to step it up, change this momentum for them. Sam going to the line. And Lee. talking about momentum, big Lee Hodges throws it down. Hemel will want to come back quick. Newman saves. And they make the three in transition and Child carrying on where he left off yesterday. Rebels so, need to find an uh, Storm need to find an answer for this soon. You know, we're already in a nine point deficit. Um, Rebels just bringing it from three point inside. They don't care. They seem to be uh, scoring at will. And Greg throws it down for the Storm. Anything you can do, Lee, we can do just as well. What a game. It's really heating up here at the Hertfordshire Sports Ooh. Village. Bit of a carry there. Winter, a judge to uh, carried the ball there. Yeah, his hand got under the ball while he's dribbling, but that's what Hemel have got to show. It's going to take a lot of guts to take down this Essex Rebels team. They're just carrying on the momentum from yesterday's game. They may fatigue later, but Hemel, have, Hemel Storm have got to make sure that they're right there come late game time. So coach has called a timeout. What, what, what's the idea of a timeout? Does, th does that help momentum? What's he doing? Trying to get a message? What, what's, what's, what's? Yeah, it can, for timeouts, they're going to they're gonna call it to stop the momentum of the other team. So who, I didn't see who called the timeout. Uh, it, it was Storm. 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 So they, he wants to stop the momentum. They've got the, they've got the slam from Greg and they've just forced the turnover there. So they've stalled a, they've turned the corner. But the way Essex Rebels were going, making threes, the lead dunk, it was all it was all one-way traffic. So that's when you're going to call a timeout uh, at this stage in the game. Other times you're going to call a timeout to, to what to set up a play. Maybe if there's just a few seconds left, but that's that's the main reason. Now Drew wants to get into his players and tell them right they've had their moment. Now we're going to go back, and it and it goes back to that analogy that Michael was talking about pre 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 game about being a boxer. At the moment, you know Hemel for a minute they were on the ropes. Absolutely. And now they've got to step into the middle of the court, go toe to toe. We're the home team. We're the higher team in the league. Let's do this now. About time we start. A couple of comments coming through. Big Sausage in the house. Uh, yeah, Big Sausage is uh, referencing Ethan Price. He's, he's definitely a baller. He's got that absolutely on. Um, yeah, keep the comments coming and I really, really want to know who's out there and that you're enjoying it and you can hear us OK and the pictures are good as it's first time Hemel Storm have produced this stream. 
And it's a, bit, a big step for them in, the, in these COVID times. Sam Newman, seven point lead for the Rebels. Child for three, it's off right. Bodie. Bodie, great job, all the way to the basket and Ethan Price is down. Officials just uh, stopped the clock, no foul there, called. Just want to see that he's okay. Might have got a finger in the eye. I don't know if he's got something, Bodie's off arm might have just gone into his face inadvertently. He's a big lad. They're a young team, Essex Rebels, average age 22. They've just got Lee at 30 and Sam at 25. Everybody else is, is studying, is linked in with the university. And uh... The huge thing missing for Storm is obviously, normally these guys are playing in front of a 400 capacity stadium and, and it's a big noise that's made at, at the Storm Dome. What, what difference as a player do you think that's going to make to these guys? Well, the, the crowd can really lift the players. And, you know, when the Rebels were going on that run, the, the Storm crowd would have been really on their feet, stamping and saying, come on, come on, guys. And maybe when the Rebels are at the free throw line, there's so much noise tr trying to politely put them off, you know, <laughs> and uh, as, you, as you'll find whenever you're on the road. But they, that isn't there today. All the atmosphere, the energy, the emotion has got to be created within the team and, yeah. and that's where the coaching stars with Drew and Mike have, are going to be so important. Sure. So price for two. Yeah, Ethan Price on the season so far, just five, four points, five rebounds, one assist is his average, 8.7 rebounds yesterday. <laughs> I think we've seen the full record to what he can do today already. And he's driving up his stats I everywhere. Think I think we've seen enough of it now. Yeah, okay, yeah. We know you can play. Just yeah. calm down a bit. Go and have a little sit down for a while. <laughs> Mike Williams coming back on the court for Teo there. Uh, just wanting that little break. Another, another handoff and Sam got right in the way of that of course he played with Hamill and would have been involved in those handoff when he played and getting involved underneath is Greg Polin he loves that with a big smile and he makes the two and he's going to the line for one and hey Hafiz Abdul is down he's he's back up now let's hope he's okay they say basketball's a non-contact game but I I never found it that way Simon. No, absolutely. And, it, it, you know, the refs have got to do something. The officials have got to call somewhere. So uh, that, that's where they catch most of it. Some contact you don't always see. Uh, you hear a lot of it, a lot of slapping. Greg, leading scorer in the National Basketball League. 26 points, six points a game, over 10 rebounds a game. And two team of the weeks. He has been outstanding. Newman attacks, kicks it to Winter for three, nothing. Four point lead for the Rebels, slowly but surely, Hamill Storm are coming back into this. Two minutes remaining in the quarter. Handoff is successful. And travel, good defense. Ewan stopped on court as well uh, in, during the break. Uh, didn't see him, we didn't announce him, but he's there. He's guarding Sam at the moment, trying to make the ball. No, he's going to recover back to back court. Inside, back outside, attacks. A lot of penetration and kick. Price on the far side. Ethan Price is on fire. The 
Price is right tonight. Hamill have got a real job on their hands to quieten him down. Sorry, what, what was that? That The price is right. I like it. I like it. It's very good, Graham. I'm, I'm here all afternoon, yeah. unfortunately. Polian, luckily he is. And he knocks it down. Keeping it close. Josh Moore is in the game. And Sam Newman... Called for offensive. an offensive foul, I think, Simon. Yeah, he's uh, on the way up. He's uh, a judge to have handed off the defender, and that goes against him. It's a great thing with uh, the free refs. They, you know, they can see they can see everywhere. Um, not always where where the crowd sees or where the commentary or the coach sees, but they kind of get it right most of the time. Yeah, it's certainly a good aspect for the refereeing crew. They they shouldn't be missing much at all. Shots up, Williams just off right. Price with a rebound. Playing Nikola Jokic now, bringing it up the floor. Hands it to Joshua Moore. Winter. Shots just short, but offensive rebound. Blocked by Greg Polian. Bodie attacks. Kick. Kicks, extra pass, Abdul. And he attacks the basket with force and is fouled. Josh Moore called for the foul there. I don't think they expect Bode to be under the basket and kick it out. But obviously <laughs> uh, he, he drew a few players there to give the, uh, the lane for Aves to drive into. Yeah, Bode's his normal move, he's going to try and get all the way to the basket with a layup or just pull up so just just sharing the ball nicely there and these Abdul he's played in Italy as well fourth division and with Tem Thames Valley Cavaliers he certainly come straight into the game and been a positive factor today okay. timeout called by Rebels yeah, and Hemel Storm starting to really get into this game, get a foothold. And uh, 22 seconds remaining, so Ross Norfolk will be running some sort of play. They like to play 1 4 with one of the bigs in. If Lee Hodges is in, he'll be on, he'll be on the floor and inside. If not, they, they can just play five out because, as we've seen, Ethan Price will just knock down the three as comfortably as he, as he plays inside. It's the perfect weapon to have, you know, an inside and outside game against, um, you know, a Storm team that, you know, don't give up much defensively. I think you, uh, you saw they haven't given up more than 75 points in a game this season, which has uh, given them their 4-1 and one winning record at the moment. Um, you know, against Essex, it's 1-3 and three record. I, don't, I just don't think it rings true. It's an early season. It's a, it's a different kind of season. Uh, this Rebel team are, you know, are in a false position as far as I can tell in the league. Yeah, I, I agree, and well, we're seeing, we're seeing the reason why. Yeah, Storm are averaging 106 points a game. They're actually giving up 91 points a game. And as for uh, Rebels, they were only averaging 59 points a game, but they got 106 yesterday. And they're on 52 right now, so I don't think uh, we're going to hold them to seven points <laughs> for the rest of the game. Over 100 points yesterday against Bradford Dragons. And they're keeping their opponents to 75 points a game. So we're back underway. They can just hold it for the last shot here before we go into the half. And it looks like they're going to do that. Off the screen. And a travel. Good defence. They almost played it for too long, but they just wanted to hold and hold. And in the end, it was an out of control drive. And now Hemmel have got two point two seconds. Who, who's remaining. your man? Who's got the shot here? I'm going on Bode. Bode's going to heave it, oh. and he's just off left, three quarter heave, and he just misses it, and that brings a really eventful and passionate first half of Hemmel Storm YouTube basketball to an end, and it's 52-48.
to the Essex Rebels. It's a good one, Simon. Yeah, it's a, it's a very good game. It's right in the balance. I don't think uh, Rebels have got the lead that they had yesterday against Bradford. So uh, I think Storm have still got something in this game to say. Um, and a quick quick couple of points in the second half. And I think you know we, we can really go at it. And it's going to be a game going all four quarters. I think it's going to go right to the wire this afternoon. Yeah, I, I think so too. But uh, I hope you're enjoying it at home or wherever you're watching it and however you're watching it. Please keep the comments coming. Let us know how you're enjoying the game or how we can improve things. It's certainly been enjoyable for myself and Simon and Lee. Thanks for all the camera work. We'll take a quick break now Absolutely. and we'll be back for the second half. Don't go anywhere.
Okay, welcome back. It's the start of the third quarter. Essex Rebels in red and Hemel Storm in their black uniforms and Rebels have a four point lead. Shots up for Gray, just short. Taya Fusi with the rebound. We'll update you with the leading scorers when we get a moment from both teams. Williams attacks against Newman, just short. Gets the rebound, misses that. Gets another rebound. Left hand finish is good. And it's a two point game. Just like that, Hemel Storm really surging back. Gray, high screen from Price. Levi Noll taking away the three point shot. But what a subtle pass off the bounce. Well and given. Winter with the finish. Just to shoot another one. Now by Bodo, I believe. Guarding him underneath there. That's three fouls. Correction, that was on Levi. Yeah, Levi's on three fouls, yeah. so he's going to have to watch that. The coach may take him out. Williams. And they. Get it to two points. Going Deficit. Williams, the catch and shoot. They're going toe to toe now. Storm, Storm staying in this game with the free at the outside game. Rebel stepping up inside. Winter, Price. And he just can't miss. 26 points in the first half. Now he's up to 29. He's piling the pressure on Hemel Storm. Levi Noll, lead assist man for the team and third in the league. Greg Polian, leading scorer in the league. And that's why he's got so many different ways to score between the legs and just pulls up for the jump shot. Great little step back in there. Gave him the, uh, the distance he needed to get the shot off. Gray left open and he takes the invitation and knocks it down. Officials uh, talking to Coach Spinks. Uh, they've warned him this time. Obviously, say it in the ear, that near side official. Yeah, Drew's just got to be careful what he says and when he says it. Does not want to pick up a tee. The press is broken. They're just putting Greg in the middle on the 2 2 1 press. Only attacking baseline, ball not loose. And still Hamel Storm ball from the sideline. So Graham, you've picked up a nickname already. Graham, the price is right. Is your <laughs> catchphrase for, for the game. Thank you. Well, I, I come very cheap. There is no price. <laughs> Bodie, long range, yeah. knocks it down. Come on, Bodie. Bodie, pure score, averaging 22 points a game for the season. 17 points against Warriors. Newman, long way out, but Winter gets another rebound. You didn't miss anything in that little blatz, uh, three point thrown up, but uh, Rebels got it back on the offensive rebound. Should be back up full stream now, no problems, we hope. Ball's not loose, Polian. Levi pushes it ahead, Bodie attacks off the dribble. Bodie grabbed as he, as he cuffed the ball, protected it with his left hand. So there's little things, Sam there driving to the basket, his, his finger roll doesn't quite go this time. Um, Storm straight down the other end, try, trying to get the two, pull the foul, so we'll shoot two. So obviously that momentum now just slightly tipping in Storm's favour, so they, they just need to keep this going. Yeah, this is where they, they need to push. Go in transition whenever they can, keep pushing Rebels back. Maybe some fatigue will come in in this quarter and they can get their noses in front and then maybe just get away from the Rebels. Yeah, they need, they need to find what they've got to do to stop Price scoring, especially from outside. Who, who, who can pick up that, that identifier and make sure that he doesn't score? Well, they're doing a good job, Hamill Storm. They're just one point down now. 60-59, the team in red from the Essex University lead. Child to Gray, attacks. 
Good job by Rebels. Flip pass back to Child and they've run out of shot clock. Sam protested with the Seven. official, but it didn't hit the basket, so the, the, the shot clock didn't reset. Um, so they were still on the original 24 seconds, which maybe they thought they had another 14. Good break there for Storm. They can take the lead with any score. And there it is, Greg Polian off the assist from Levi Knoll. 61-60, Storm in the lead. Greg with leading all Storm scores in the first half with 13. Price, the danger man for Rebels. Winter, nice fake, kicks. And that's just beautiful basketball. Penetrate and kick to the corner. And Tom Child knocks down another three, Simon. Absolutely, took it off the glass uh, in, in, in for three points. Great shot selection. Sayu to Levi. Looking for options. Williams pulls up for two. And Price gets the rebound. Just a touch quick. Mike is such a quick player. Just maybe a touch rushed. <laughs> and whistle. Foul called. And that's four fouls on Levi. He's going to have to go out now. Jack's in, which gives Hemel Storm some legitimate three point shooting prowess. They do need him now to Hemel Storm. Spread the floor with all the players they've got that can attack the basket. Jack can make the most of that, hopefully. But first off, they've got to defend. Gray attacks, and he's fouled by Bodie. The screen at the top caused an issue. Jack couldn't stay with Gray, and Bodie came over and commit the foul. Jack coming off there a little bit cold from the bench, so he's got to get into this game really quickly. Uh, Levi has obviously had the uh, had the job of stopping Price from scoring, so we've got to see uh, a real good defensive effort from Storm to stop free foot scoring Essex Rebels. And Gray knocks down a free throw. At 10 points, three rebounds, six assists yesterday in the big win against the Dragons. Who's going to get the big win today? Hamill Storm or Essex Rebels? Bodie to Mike. Left hand dribble, left hand finish is just short. And they just tip it to each other, do a nice job there. Rebels to secure the offensive rebound. Newman off transition for three. And they're flying in for the rebound. Jordan Gray not able to get it to go. And foul a long way from his own hoop there, Rory Winter. That's his first. He's protesting that uh, it was definitely a block. Stopped Bode getting away. Pushed his knee out just to, to draw the foul. Yeah, it, it stops the transition because they would have had a five on four. But he's got to trust his teammates. They can slow the five down until he can recover. Yeah. Mike Williams, Mike. just short again. But Gets his own rebound, draws the foul. Must be getting a touch frustrated, Mike. He's just not able to make the first shot, but he's getting after it and building up his rebounding stats for sure. Mike Williams, Simon, as you alluded to earlier, from Rutgers University, Division I <laughs> College. Played two years there, and then it's his second year with Hemel. Part of the Big Ten, so that's that's a big deal when you're you're playing college basketball um, over in the states. They they you know support their uh, university so well. And then his first professional contract with Storm, he was over last season, went back early after COVID, um, yep. and is back this season for a full season. We hope. Well, it's just a great job to get them both back, keep them safe, and uh, he's. He really pushes. I mean, he had a, a massive game last week, 35 points. Um, and, and of course, Greg made Team of the Week beca only because of his efficiency rating, 14, 14 rebounds with the 24 points. But he is a volume scorer, Mike. And he knocks down both free throws. Still the Rebels lead, but it's real close. Absolutely. I mean, the one thing Storm have got are match winners. 
Bode will step up with, with good, good scores. Mike, Greg, you know, they're all guys that are used to taking hold of a game. And Newman out. for three, just short. That's a couple they've missed now, but they get the offensive rebound and they make the storm pay. It's got to hurt. It's got to hurt, you know, they get the, get the rebound, push it out for another three points. Uh, takes it to a six point game, Rebels ahead. Rebounding is so important. Taylor so gets blocked, but he gets it again and he makes it. Going to the line for the three point play. Taylor so Fusu, new this season. Previously with Solent, of course, won everything in the National Basketball League and just a super player. Also a Liverpool fan. Same as Mike Darlow, did you, did you know that? Liverpool big, fans. Big Liverpool fans. I wonder how they're getting on against West Ham. They, they upset a few Tottenham fans in the week. Absolutely. Inside, Hodges. And he gets it off the pick and roll. Ethan Price taking a break, so they're going to play differently now. Go inside to Hodges. Six point lead. They're dragging themselves back up. Polian thinks about the three, takes the long two just off. Gray. They push the ball. Good defense by Hemel Storm. Gray. High screen from Hodges. Not used on that occasion. Newman. Shot clock down to five seconds. Newman all the way through for left hand. And it is timeout time for Drew Spinks. He's, Hemel Storm have let Rebels get away again. It's back up to an eight point lead and it's timeout, Hemel Storm. Absolutely, uh, Coach Spinks decides uh, he wants to talk to the guys, stop this flow, stop the scores that uh, Rebels seem to be going inside, outside, doing a really good job against uh, Storm's defense which are working hard but they're just not getting the breaks at the minute yeah that's tough that Sam had the ball beyond the three-point line with five seconds left and he's able to get through with his left hand but he's a very talented player as as Storm fans yeah. know but but Hemel for their high scoring 106 points a game they're scoring but they're letting in 91 points a game and yeah. uh, you know they're heading towards that again and they've got to just try and tighten things up get uh, only allow Essex Rebel, Rebels one shot, a couple of rebounds, especially off the bounce. There's no way those rebounds should be going to the other team. They've just got to dive on the dive on the loose balls and then just keep push and push and push on the offense. So back Hopefully, to fundamentals, back to fundamentals, boxing out, making sure your man can't uh, get to the basket. It's an underrated skill. I mean, I was talking to Lloyd Gardner mentioned it when he had, when he was doing one of his... Um, Zoom meetings through uh, Basketball England, which was really interesting. And, we, and the question was asked, how much time do you spend on rebounding? And he had to think about it and think, well, maybe I don't, maybe we don't spend enough when he's planning his practices. But, you know, it, it, for moments like that, especially when you get a three off the, off the rebound. Yeah, it's going to hurt. Let's see if they can improve things. I'm sure they can with all the Hamill Storm support behind them. Great play by Jack Bunnell setting up Mike Williams, we're off and running again. Just under three minutes remaining in the third. What a game, perfectly poised. Hodges surrounded, he goes inside, right. blocked from behind, but he won't get blocked on that play. He is a big unit at seven foot tall. Storm did the first part so well there, but didn't follow up, didn't get the ball back. Williams. Tayu has a look just off left. Greg with a big rebound. And he makes that shot over Hodges. He just has a little stumble there. Gray. Child. Winter. Winter with an up and under, hanging in the air with a double clutch, makes the score. Wow, high quality basketball. Williams for three. And wow. 
he's fouled. That's big. That's much needed. So he's going to go to the line and shoot free right now, and that's that can change. You know, we're we're now in a, a nine-point deficit. Let's see if he can hit all three and bring it back down. Yeah, every point is crucial now. Hamill, will, Hamill Storm will want to protect their home court, as you said. It's, it's, it's a different venue because of the COVID restrictions and with no crowd, so they have to create everything themselves. They've got the fans watching at home. I don't know how many viewers we've got. We're up to 204 watching That's now, but as, as ever, Storm is a family-supported uh, club, so that, that family watching will be 200 plus another 100 at least of uh, young and old alike. Of course, they'll be watching along with their families. Mm -hmm. And this, you know, this is great that we're able to bring this and all the teams are bringing it to, to bring some sport and some fun and, and some basketball into people's lives Absolutely. during these unprecedented times, uh, Simon. I, th I think it's great because everyone's getting skilled up. You, you know, Rebels put on their first stream yesterday. Yep. This is Storm's first stream. You know, we're, we're all learning new techniques, new skills. Um, and, you know, hopefully we can deliver sport and, and basketball all the way through the season. Uh, but nothing like playing in front of a full Storm Dome. No, and, and it's a big difference for Hamelstorm, but they've just got to they've got to keep pushing. They've got to use it as a positive for them, knowing that they're being watched. They're being being cheered on through the screens, Absolutely. and we're certainly here, wishing them all the best court side. But they're up against a tough team, playing at the top of their game at the moment. Hodges almost turned over. Allen's in the game. Uh -oh. Moving Gray, the of, uh, Gray swarming defence inside Hodges. Ball's loose, still loose. Here comes Mike Williams. Bennell for three is just short, but Greg gets the rebound, brings it out. Brings it right out, brings out Hodges. Yes, Nick in and there now to pick it up. Storm getting the offensive rebounds. Just got to turn them into points. That's absolutely correct, and getting an offensive rebound and getting the ball to a to a shooter. Just got to make the most of it, but they get another possession. And Mike Williams is at the line for two. Five-point lead. He can cut it to three. He's just had two huge seasons, and this season shooting 51% from three. Yeah, Mike, Mike, Mike's a big week. deal, you know. He's followed by NBA players. Yeah. And, and Grammy Award singers as well. He's followed by um, J. Cole, which is, a, you know, a huge fact. So, it, uh, social media, you, if you follow Greg, you follow Mike, they, they put a real good effort yeah. into it and open themselves up to what they do behind the scenes. They know some influential people. Maybe we need to get on there and try and befriend them. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> You're, you're now the most famous person block I've got shot. in my phone. <laughs> There's a block shot. It looked like a good block, but foul called. No, in this, in this COVID time going on from what you're saying, Simon, it's such a big way of communicating is social media now. It's, it's absolutely massive. Yeah, that's, Keeping I mean, you all in touch. We've got the match day staff here, or the, uh, the social media side of it. So we, we, you know, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We're all over where we can be. YouTube yeah. channel is going to step up. We're going to have a highlight package during the week, so you can see the, you know, all the highlights from this game and hopefully a storm win. Yeah, fantastic. And a big thank you also to the Hearts Uni as the University as Winter knocks down the free throw for allowing the use of the facilities here. Fantastic facilities as Abdul knocks down yeah. a three. Hafiz Abdul. It's a two point game. Last throws of the third quarter coming up. 30 seconds to go. So there's going to be another offense by Storm. See what Rebels uh, are going for this one. Yeah, what a pick up Abdul's been. Shots up, Moore's wide open. And there's bodies flying and Abdul is fired up. Foul called against Rebels. Just giving them some balance, Abdul. He, he can get the ball, he can make his own shot. 
off the dribble and that time just to step in behind the three-point line and knocking down from long range. Well, you know, third, fourth quarter is why you sign your big players. These are the guys that should step up uh, and deliver the points. Uh, and that's what we're seeing right now. Let's uh, see when he shoots too. Commentator's curse. <laughs> <laughs> Just for Mike Darlow and any Liverpool supporters, they beat West Ham 3-1. Moved up to third in the table. All your sports information here on the Hemel Storm YouTube channel. So time running down, under 10 seconds remaining in the third. Rebels, can they extend their lead? Nearly lose it. Ooh. More for three. Is off. Doesn't go. And there's a foul called on Nick Allen. That's really Storm only unfortunate. On That's fouls, tough. So he's, he's giving shots. Three shots for Moore coming up. More, more one of the players that um, with, with, with Rebels when they went back to back and won promotion all the way up to Division One. It's, a, it's a, a, a big thing to do that, to go two seasons and jump up. And he stayed with the team and kept playing all the way through that. Yeah, of course, Essex Rebels, the champions from last year, Division Two. And, and the coach, Ross Norfolk, has been on the journey since 2015. He's been with them since Division Four, all the way through to D1 and the head coach of the Essex Uni. So, a lot of continu continuation as time expires and after three quarters it's 81 to 74 in favour of the Rebels. What a final quarter we've got in store. You know I've, I've been to the NBA games and generally they don't turn up to the fourth quarter and that's definitely not happened today. We've seen a tight game all the way through. Um, Rebels have, have, have kept ahead for a lot of the game and Storm have, have just not found that winning combination, that momentum to get them above and beyond where Rebels are. But, you know, I think the matchups are great and it's going to be a tough fourth corner. What, what do you think it's going to come down to? Well, it's all, it's a like chess in, in a way, especially if Price and Hodges are on for Rebels. How, how are Storm going to match up with that defensively? If it's just Hodges, it's an inside, it's a pick and roll and an inside threat. With Price, you don't know where he's going to pop up. So, you know, and, and then they've got other players that can share the ball and Sam obviously leading the team and, uh, you know, directing things. As for Hemel, Mike Williams, if he can just get a little bit hotter, he's going to get the shots, keep sharing the ball, making that extra pass and only allowing Rebels one shot. Don't let them get that second shot because they've got deadly three-point shooters or finishers that can make you pay. So if they can just tidy up on the defensive class, push on transition because we haven't seen any fatigue yet from Rebels but maybe it's going to happen you know, maybe it's going to happen in the next few minutes it might not happen to the last minute but the way this game's going it could come down to the last possession yeah so I mean uh you're smiling, what are you smiling I'm at? smiling. <laughs> smiling our, our ever-supporting uh, families and everyone, thanks to them. Um, we, 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 we touched that one in, on the way through. But um, Price sat out most of that third quarter. Is that to rest him, to get him ready for this, this where he's going to need him? He's... What, taking Price out? Yeah. Sure. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, he's only a young, as most of these guys are, he's only 19, Ethan. And... Uh, you know, they want him they want him firing right when it matters. Never great to give the ball up on the first offense. Uh, three points in it. Rebels by three, 81, 70, 77, four points. Good match. So Rebels back on offence. Drive, balls loose, foul called. Foul called. Nice job by Jordan Gray attacking the middle of the paint there. That's second foul.
do apologise for not being able to update you with the personal stats and scores. Also, we haven't got the FIBA live stats, yeah. but great finish by Winter and almost a steal on the inbounds. Cheeky little run away and then turn round. Jack Bernal, Polian to Abdul. Bode all the way across, Bernal all alone. Just short front rim. Look Great at Polian. Come on, unlucky. Just couldn't get hold of it. Great defensive rebounding by the Rebels. Two possession games, six point lead for the Rebels. Moore. Oh, no stumble there. And that. travel. Too quick to put it on the floor. I think offensively, maybe try and get Abdul involved. Havis, he's looked really switched on and in the game. But now inside to Polian. Can always give it to Greg. He'll make something good happen. Yay. And he does! He took a look, he gave the fake, step back, two points. Great ten foot. He's just super smart. Sized up Lee Hodges and took the best shot in the situation. Back outside, Child attacks. Tries to get it to Lee, but great anticipation by the Storm defence. Travel given. Tom got a bit, uh, Child got a little bit lost under the basket there, was looking for Lee to dish it off, but um, he was well guarded and, and there was no option for him. That's good defence. Can Storm capitalise with a score here? Williams, jab step for three. That's long, but great rebound. Bernal. Shots up from the corner, that's short, but <laughs> stolen by oh, Williams. Wow. And the ref right there on the baseline, that third referee. It didn't look like a foul from here, it looked like a clean strip. But... Yeah, we had a big Lee in the way, I guess uh, she could see the <laughs> other side. Uh, Lee was shocked that uh, someone had sort of nipped round to take it away, but obviously it, must have caught I mean, a hand I mean, on the way through. It's not as though it would have hurt Lee, I'm sure he wouldn't have minded if it weren't called a foul. He would have still been shot. <laughs> Four point lead for Rebels. Hope you're enjoying the action here on Hemel Storm YouTube channel. Shots up for Child. It's good for three. He is deadly yesterday and carrying it on today. Abdul, crossover, attacks, but good defense from Hodges. And this time, Rebels in the ascendancy. Winter. Yes. And Just gets the finger roll. Drew, Drew, uh, coach Drew Spinks then decides that's enough. Another time to take a timeout. That second of this half. Yeah, and we're back to that nine point lead all the way back to nine. They dragged it all the way back to one. And it just shows how composed and focused Rebels are. You know, coming off the win yesterday, it may be a double header. The one plus is they won and it was at home. And it's not a massive journey to get here. So if it was a a double header, a long trip yesterday and and, and, a, and the trip today, I think it would make a bigger difference. But they're, they're really playing smart, they're making their scores and Hemel are going to have to dig deep yet again and really show their character. Still plenty of time, 7.29 on the clock in the fourth quarter. So we've still got time on FA, uh, a couple of fouls by Storm, so we're not in foul trouble yet. Uh, Rebels haven't made a foul yet, so... Uh, They've got plenty to give. Obviously not working hard enough on defence <laughs> uh, if they're not getting called on the fouls. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that could be the, uh, that is the reason. <laughs> no, apparently uh, apparently Essex are, just, Essex are just playing harder. That's a comment from uh, Jake Yon uh, on YouTube. Uh, keep the comments going, guys. We're, we're referencing them as much as we can. Make sure you sub subscribe and to make sure you hit that alert button. Uh, any live uh, YouTube streams, you'll get notified. Yeah, thanks. Thanks everyone for tuning in on this Sunday evening. Just brings a nor normality to the world, which is, has not been normal, anything but for the last year or so. Now, Storm need to get back to the, to the new normal, which is getting that ball in the bucket as quick as possible. Noel, Levi, four fouls he's on, but they need him now offensively. Just off, big rebound, Williams. Yeah. He gets and the offensive rebound and scores. That's 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 where we need to be at. Great boards there, puts it back for the two and draws a foul. 
three points if he can score the extra. Yeah, I, I think it comes down to that. It comes down to digging in, get after every off, offensive rebound and box out on the defensive end. Just all those basics. You know, not so much the, the pretty design plays now. It's guts and determination that are going to get them back in it. Levi back on the court, as you, as you mentioned, on four fouls. So he had to sit out a few quarters, but let's see if he can make a difference as well. Yeah, he's going to have to be smart, play defence without fouling, and his, his experience and his passing will be a big help. Hodges, hands off, Winter. Child, Gray, attacks, off the glass, no good. Great defence there. The no Rebels out. obviously playing for the one offence or the one shot offence. And if they don't get it to go, uh, that's what we need and get the boards. Just off from Greg, but they get another offensive rebound. Bodie, Bodie, no good. And that's as good as an offensive rebound. They forced Essex Rebels to knock the ball out of bounds. It seems to have switched, switched sides now. Rebels were getting the offensive putbacks and uh, scoring the points off, and now Storm are getting the opportunity. They've got to make it work for them, though, and, and get the points. Yeah, and with that in mind, Rebels bring it back in Price, so they've got the twin towers of Hodges and Price on the floor. He's on fire, isn't he? Commentary there, good old classic. Price is right, twin towers. <laughs> you don't just come here for the basketball. Foul called against Rebels. With the two bigs in now, I think Stormer just got to move that ball as quick as they can, and get in behind. Just notice that bigs. Sam's picked up his fourth foul, so another big factor in this game. If uh, they can draw a foul from him, drive at him, uh, and get that foul and get him out of the game, that's going to be a great bonus. Yeah, if they can get New Newman out of the game, he's such a big influencer for that team. Mike Williams missing another three. We just need him to make the shots or maybe give up the shots and uh, facilitate for someone else. Inside, Hodges. And foul before the shot, I'd say. Called on the floor. Rebels get the ball baseline. Winter to Newman. High screen from Lee Hodges. He's rolling to the bucket. Posts up against Greg. Not used. And technical foul. Technical. And Drew Spinks. Didn't seem too much, Simon. I didn't see too much, and, and he's absolutely shocked. I mean, there was obviously a warning early on in the game, mm. but there was something said. Same official that was uh, gave him the warning has decided to tee up Coach Spinks, who's Shocked to say the least. Yeah, he just looks totally bemused by that call and uh, talking to Hodgie. But the refs aren't going to change it. They've just got to focus on playing now. New shot clock for Rebels. They've got 14 seconds to get this shot off. Winter, baseline, beautiful pass, and Sam Newman misses, which is a rarity. No help. But he Sam. does the right thing for his team and gets back. To he was working hard to make, make up for that, but you know, just got his fingers to it. Goes out. Storm will get the ball back from the sideline. Storm need to make this count, get a really good look. I tell you. Hands off to Williams. Just got to get an open shot. Ball's not loose. Winter, watch out. And he did that yesterday. It might have been his brother Ben, but we know they can get up. Now, Hamill Storm have really got to hang tough. Just got to look after that ball all the time. Williams, just a touch long. He comes off those screens so quick. Newman and blocked by Greg. Get out of here. Not in this house. Williams, big moment, Williams. and he can't get it to go. 
travelling so quick downhill, in effect, just couldn't get the touch off the glass. And eight seconds. Wow. The call. Fundamentals again there. Get the ball over. He was he was calling out the offence. Didn't see the clock going down, and there you go, uh, uh, an easy turnover. That could be the fatigue that we talked about. We'll see how they go the next minute or so. Levi Noll, Storm have got to really push now. Greg knocks it down. He loves that shot around the free throw line. It used to be your house, about 10 foot out. That was where you were at, wasn't it, Graham? Yeah, I could. When I got the ball, I would <laughs> take that shot. If I was open, I was usually open. <laughs> Big screen Winter. by Lee there. <laughs> Child kicks. Price, the danger man. He's cooling down a touch. The first one he's missed for a long, long time. Bodie, Teo, Levi Nile. They've got to keep the ball moving, keep attacking. Three's up, short, rebound, Greg, and he gets the score! There you go, there you go. So again, offensive rebound. Greg goes back up with the ball, gets the, gets the score and one. Turns a, what would have been a nine point deficit into now a four point deficit. Uh, get the extra one and we're down to one shot. Yeah, it's just basics. It's just trying to get it right on the defensive end. He's going to get a lot of rebounds. He's averaging 10 rebounds a game. He's right up there in the in the league. Top echelons of rebounders, and uh, that's a massive one. Wow. OK, he gets another go. Someone stepped in a little bit early. Points that you just don't want to give away. It's 3.42 to go in this fourth quarter. You want to hold on to every point you earn um, and every stop that you get. Comments on YouTube coming through. Everyone's kind of hard to call. We, we, no one knows which way this game's no. going to go. Three points, 3.38 to go. I think last possession of the game, it may be overtime. This time they make Price attack the basket and have to make the decision inside and deflection off Hamill. Nice to hear from Ricky Broadmore. Good to see you watching, Ricky. Big man to big man, you're going to accept that it's going to go high, aren't you? You think they put their hands up, no one can get to them, but they went fairly low there for Lee, who uh, didn't get the grab. And but No, which is good for Storm, but Rebels still have possession. Winter off the screen. Hodges drifts towards the basket. Child's up for three, and it's good! He Gone makes up again. for his eight-second mistake. Noel, what a test this is for Hamill Storm. High level National Basketball League. Basketball right here on Hamill Storm YouTube. Hooray! Yeah, there he goes. He's got the answer. He's gone from the top of the three point line uh, and scores and pulls it back again with two, three points here. It's nip and tuck. Let's go all the way. Awesome. What a game. Sam Newman, X Storm. Lee Hodges, X Storm. Again. Oh. No, Good sir. defense from Bodie though, he just got his hands up. Didn't give Child such a good look. Storm can tie the game with a three. Bodie attacks Mike Williams. This would be a good time to make one and he just leaves it short. Pick up the offensive board. Up goes Greg and, and there you Greg. go. Two points. We're up to a one point game now. 2.20 to go, 92-93. Rebels got by one going to go to the wire. Yeah, great job by Greg again. Picking his spots to take his shots. Newman, what a move. So strong, just jumping over Greg Polian, who's no slouch himself. Polian, to tell you, Bodie. Oh, penetrates, has to give it back out. Ethan Price, good D. Inside, Williams, big moment. And he's not just... Shot it long. Oh. Rebels just going to take some time off the clock. They've got the advantage by three. Newman, big defensive play here. Needed by Storm. What a pass. Oh, oh my goodness. Ethan Price crushes the dunk. 
That's what Sam there, he saw the pass no one else saw. Bryce picked it up and put it in. Levi out to Bodie. Bodie, big players. He just missed it, but. Two points given. Greg with the score, are they going to call two? I think it may have been tipped on the way down. I'm not sure. Bode may have got the points, but it, whatever it is, Storm it got the two matter. points. Yeah. <laughs> Three point game, 70 seconds remaining in regulation. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. Need a turn. When have, we got the book, when have we got the booking till? <laughs> I think badminton's on in about five minutes. <laughs> Rebels make it. Good that job snap. by Levi, just affecting Lee's concentration. Ball's thrown out of bounds. Any way will do to stop the ball going inside. Absolutely, 53 to go. It's where the big bucks are earned. Hope you're enjoying the action here. Levi and oh, just long, another shot just off. Winter is going to slow it down, brings it out. Bodie trying to get the steal. They attack, Tayu stops it. Bodie's chasing Winter all over the floor. Five seconds on the shot clock. Three seconds. Two seconds. He's going to have to put it up off one leg. Ball's loose. And it didn't touch anything. Time violation. So Drew. Coach Drew Speaks calls another timeout. It's not for momentum this time. It's for a play. We've got 17.8 seconds left. It's a three-point game. What do you pull out the bag here, Graham? Who do you go to? Who's your, who's your money man? Who's going to get that big score for you? Well, they've got choices. Mike has been cold. You know, he hasn't hit a shot for a while. Is it time for, hit, for him to hit one? They've got 17 seconds. They've got plenty of time to run a play. You know, are they going to try and go for a quick score and then get the steal and try and win it in this 17 seconds or run it down, go for the three, tie the game and go into overtime? I Try their chances at overtime. I. I would, I would attack the basket. Maybe you're going to get a three-point play that way, but if they're going to attack the basket and go for the two, it's got to be immediate. Neither team in foul trouble, so that doesn't bring into it. Normally, if you want to get a quick possession, you give up the foul, let them shoot the two, and then try and go down the other end and do what you need to do. But both teams on three fouls. Yeah, they've they got fouls to give. So Essex Rebels have got one foul to give, so they can, um, you know, they can foul early. Just get get Hemel Storm out of there, out of the way they're going to try and run the play. But it's, they've just got to stay calm. It's something Michael said before about dealing with um, the press of Rebels. It's, it's poise over pace. Poise over Let's pace. stay poised. We can use that in another game. <laughs> I don't know if Mike's going to charge us for uh, it. But I, I think it's a one-time use only. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go then. So Storm get the ball in Rebels half. Yeah, sometimes why you call a timeout so you're all ready in the other the, the other team's half ready That's to go. Right. So they would have run these plays a lot in practice. It's just doing it live when the game's on the line. All the way across, and he nearly went out of bounds. Abdul, he's fought so quickly there, threw it off Sam Newman. That is quite a popular popular play. I've seen it in some of the European games where they're just going to throw it to the far side and then someone's going to come off the screen to catch and shoot. All right. Let's see how we go here. Mike Williams, he's just short again. They need to foul. They need to foul. And they nearly get the steal. Was that, was that the moment? Was that the moment? Well, there's still plenty of time, 8.1 seconds. Rebels call a timeout. Coach Norfolk wants to talk to his guys and, and get through. You know, the one thing with, with Rebels is they're a young team. They've obviously yeah. got experience um, going to the wire, but, you know, this is the time where you need your, your experienced heads um, to come through. Yeah, but they don't need to score. They've got the lead. Uh, they're going to get the ball in. They can just pass it around, maybe spread the floor, get, the big, get one of the bigs in the middle of the floor and just pass it quick and then Hemel are going to have to foul to stop the clock uh, and hope 
if, if Rebels go to the line for free throws, they miss and then they can get the possession back. But they, all the cards are laying with Essex Rebels here and Storm are going to have to play an absolute unbelievable defensive sequence here to get a steal and then get the score to tie the game. Coach Spinks uh, talking to the guys. I think he's rotating a couple of players in there. Obviously, defense is where it is um, right now. So we've just got to get a turnover from somewhere. Like you say, everything stacked in Rebels' favor. But it's been done, it's been seen, and it happens regularly where, where things change. Yeah, they've got to overload the ball. They've got to get two or three players surround the ball, try and get a travel maybe get a five second call that's the first thing they can do is is not let the ball in you know and get the five second call and they get immediate possession and the game's back on so let's see they've got a good man putting the ball in in sam newman let's see what happens newman gets it in and it's immediately fouled by Bodie. well if you're going to foul do it quick do it early that's only uh, under a second off the clock but as we said we had fouls to give Got to give another one to send him yep. to the line. Same again. Let's try and get the steal with Levi. Maybe he's just stepping off Sam. So first person who catches the ball, get inside. Foul, foul. OK, they're going to look to Lee, the former Emil Storm player and Essex and Hearts Leopards and GB age group player. He can ice this game now for Essex Rebels. No, sir. Not today. Didn't look a perfect release, just slightly jerky. So one shot to make it a four-point game, and that will be a two-possession game. Massive shot. He's missed it. Now they've right. got to get it up the floor. Time running down. Levi to tie the game no. off the glass. And it's shot. just off. Levi had the good look. He dribbled up the floor after the Hodges miss. He had time. He pulled up for three and it's off the glass and just fell short. And Essex Rebels win at their double header. Go 2-0 and for the weekend. And it's so tough for Hemel Storm will fall just short been really off a great game to watch great game to be at I'm um, just glad that we could provide a stream for you guys to see basketball England division one at its best guys went toe to toe rebels kept the lead pretty much I'm pretty sure from the first quarter onwards stayed in front the whole game and, and just didn't let that gap close and then it was up to storm right at the end they had two clutch shots they had to make and, and they didn't make it uh, there you go there's the result well done to rebels they put in such a great game um, we live yeah. to fight another day. Yeah, I mean, they're a good young team. Getting Hodges in has helped. Ethan Price had an absolute stormer in the first half. But Hem Hemel Storm just couldn't quite stay with Essex Rebels for long enough. They got it back to one point at one stage, but then a couple of minutes later, it's back up to nine, and it was it was really tough. But some positive performances. Hazib Abdul came in. You know, a lot of players got a chance to play. Mike Williams will, will feel frustrated. He just didn't quite get enough shots to go. Greg did his usual thing. Abode had a strong game. But they just fell short. And, you know, congratulations to Essex Rebels. A, a great job on the road. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, back-to-back -back wins for Rebels. Um, as I said, I thought their position was false. Um, yeah. that they'll be coming up the table, you know, when they get more games under their belt and, and sure to get more wins. Um, storm just just not our day and you know in front of four or five hundred people you know I keep going back to it I'm a live fan I love to be part of the the the, the you know where you feed off from the crowd and I'm sure the storm dome would have made it a little bit different a bit more pressure on these young guys but hey they've delivered and they've done a great job um, and it's great to watch yeah. you know it's not unfair when your bigs can shoot so many three-pointers as well. <laughs> you know, they're there for a job. They're meant to play inside, not outside. But Ethan Bryce, great player, great, uh, you know, man of well, match. To me. Yeah, I mean, you know, talking about Ethan, that's why the American universities are interested in him. They want bigs that can shoot inside and outside. And then obviously with Hodges, they've got that, that pure inside guy. But, but Hemel Storm, you know, again, entertaining us, playing with such great passion and energy and, and, and doing it all for the fans. And, you know, it's been an honour 
to sit with you today, Si, and, and, and cover the game courtside. Oh, no. <laughs> Is that good? Is that enough? That's a lot. How much That's a lot. I've got to pay you for that. <laughs> and oh, no. Wow. Yeah, we had a, we had a slightly uh, terse uh, beginning. We we well, obviously made a, made a mistake, but we're all learning, and, you know, we're glad we got you to deliver three and a half. I mean, I'm sitting here next to uh, uh, a very experienced commentator, and all the comments are... You know, really like hearing the big G and what he's got to say. He, he brings something to the game that a player only can bring, and uh, it was great. Thank you very much for for being here. Well, thank you, and thanks for Hemel Storm and to Carol for asking me to do this, and and, and look forward to the next game. Great. Um, Which all details are on the website. Some of the games are going to change maybe because of COVID, but if all the fans just keep an eye on the emails and the website. Uh, all details of the next home games and next stream games, wherever they are, will be uh, will be shown. Absolutely, keep your eye on all those socials: Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, the, and make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. And then uh, make sure that reminder button's here, and you'll know when we're next live. Great, thanks everyone.